Okay, you guys, so this is just my easy breezy Sunday. I am off to Target right now. I want to show you this cute little sweatsuit that I found at Rue 21. I think I used to shop there like back in the day. I feel like it's kind of like a younger store, but I don't know. They had some really cute stuff. I got some really cute tees from there. So let me show you how it looks. Okay. Okay, so this is the outfit that I got from Rue 21. This sweatsuit is super cute. I love the blue color. And look at the heart there. It says, it's not me, it's you. There's the back of it with the heart. My, um, my son Jackson, that's 11, actually saw this and picked this out. And I think it's so cute, it's so cozy. It's so perfect for today because it's raining outside and I threw it on with these little rain boots. And so let's go to Target, see what we have. I think later on today, I'm gonna make some fajitas. Mm. I'm gonna make some steak. We'll do some tortillas, get some, I need to get some dressings for a salad. What do you think of that? Yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. And then I have to put some braids into our hair. This is just gonna be a typical Sunday. I have a busy working mom. We're gonna get ready for. So Layla made me buy this sweater that was really too big for her. It was actually in like regular, come a little bit more over here. In like the regular sizes. So like, what am I trying to say? Like regular women's sizes, huh? So it's oversized. She's modeling it for you. What does it say? Let me see here. It says, smile every day. She's wearing a large and she probably needs a small, but I think it still looks adorable on her. I love the print on there. Smile every day. She was super excited to get this sweater. We're gonna put some braids in her hair later. And so we're out. You ready, Layla? Yeah. Let's go. Hey guys, so I'm in the kitchen right now. <clears throat> Just got back from Target. I'll have to show you a few of the things that I got from Target. Okay, so I have this cheap Angus beef steak meat that I'm gonna be using. Was this from Costco? Yeah, I believe I got this from Costco. And then I'm gonna season this up right now with, I have some steak seasoning, which I got. Where's my steak seasoning? And then I got some roasted garlic and herb seasoning. So I think I'm gonna make it with that. I feel like I need a clip or something. Get hair everywhere. Be right back. Found, okay, so found my little clippy. Question of the day, how nasty is hair in your food? Is that weird to ask? I mean, cause a lot of times I cook and I don't use a clippy. Is that disgusting? But I feel like if it's your own hair, like, I mean, of course you don't want hair in your food, but if it's your own hair, I mean, is it okay? I mean, is it that gross? But then again, if you're wearing a wig, is it gross, Layla, to have hair in your food? Okay, talking to my daughter. She's like, she says it's disgusting, okay. I'm like, but it's my wig. I put all the, the stuff in it. <laughs> you know, the cleaning, I clean it, I wash it. It's my hair. I pay for it. <laughs> okay, I mean, ultimately, we don't want hair in our food, but let's get the steak meat going. Oh, and then I had to get some freezer bags, of course, because I'm just going to sit this in, and then I'm actually going to start my daughter's hair. Start her hair in a few braiding. So while I get this all seasoned up, then I'm going to... um. Start braiding her hair. I'm going in with the garlic seasoning, the gar the roasted garlic and herb seasoning. Nice blend. I was trying to get most of my seasonings like organic, you know, kind of like new year, new me, but this is what they had at Target and this is what I got. So, I mean, I think it's always better, you know, if you have the time to, of course, do like, you know, the real onions in there and chop them with the real peppers, which I am going to do some real onions and peppers, so there's that. But I want some of this dry seasoning to go on here as well. 
and I need to get my salt. The salt. And I just went in with these seasonings, but I typically like to put my olive oil in first, you know, so then your seasonings stick on top, which I really don't know why I didn't do that. But it's probably because I'm trying to multitask and talk to you guys. I'm going to go in with my caraway pants. I love these pants. I feel like these are the only pants that I've been using. Actually, I can say that these are the only like baking pants that I've been using and it's not sponsored. I just really like them non-stick. Love the neutral color. Uh, I have the baking pants. I would like to get some of the like cooking skillets. So I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on here. Get that going in my pan. I feel like I could have did a better display for y'all. I could have had all these ingredients out, but I mean, quite honestly, this is usually how I cook and it probably does seem a little chaotic. I'm going in with my regular salt. Get my little Himalayan pink salt on there. Hopefully this will get really, really tender. I kind of, maybe I should, another idea would be to crock pot this. You know what I mean? With all your seasonings and just really let it get tender. Crap, I said I was gonna marinate that in the baggie, huh? And then I just threw it all in there. On the sheet, on the sheet pan. Instead of marinating it in the plastic bags. So we're not gonna do plastic bags. We're just gonna do it on here. I'm gonna put some foil on it when I'm done. And I'm gonna let it sit with these seasonings on it. And that's going to be that. Yeah, so I mean, I'm thinking if I want to do shrimp, you know, because like to have kind of like a full fajita spread where you have your steak. But realistically, I think I'm going to do the shrimp for tomorrow because meat's expensive and I like to preserve my meats. I mean, I don't need shrimp and steak and chicken and all of that, which is definitely nice, you know, to have in your fajitas if you want to do something special. But I have a lot of people to cook for, so this is what we're doing. Going in with the same seasonings on the back. I don't think I added any black pepper to the front, actually. Definitely, as I get older, I've noticed that I'm not as good as at multitasking, and you know what, I'm fine, I'm fine with that. I like to do things at my pace, and typically one at a time, you know what I mean? It just makes life so much more peaceful and enjoyable. And then I think I'm going to chop up some onion and some peppers to go on this. And then we're going to be ready to let this just sit and marinate, y'all. I'm going in. I'm going to chop up this onion. It looks all right. Little slices in there. Actually, I'm kind of cutting it small, but I really don't need this onion to be that kind of, you know, it's kind of going to do like that size. I don't need my onions to be that small, so yeah, I like to have like a good bite of onion. Okay, I'm still chopping it too small. I'm not the best with the knife. I'm going to be honest, but I can get my stuff cut up, you know. And definitely not a chef, so don't come for me, you guys, because, you know, I just cook meals for my family, you know. So that's a good amount of onion. I'm going to just put this, I think, on the side. And I'll probably drizzle like a little more um, olive oil on there on those veggies so they can really simmer and do their thing. I have these peppers, so I mean, I hope they're still good. I don't think it's been quite a week since I bought them. And I'm trying to remember if I washed them. I believe I did. <laughs> Seems like I would have. I'm going to give them a little rinse still, just to be sure. 
Like, which one do you want? Which color do you like? You want this big one? You're going to eat all that? It's a little thing, so... It's good she likes to eat these peppers by itself. I'm like, I can't do it, but... <laughs> minutes I'm all about the quick and easy meals you know especially now that I have three kids I remember when I just had like one child I thought you know you should do everything organic and do everything like from scratch and you know that went out the window very quickly I'm not trying to do all that you know I'm not <laughs> I'm just I'm not a chef and I'm going to cook us some good food, but I'm going to do it quickly in the simplest way. And another thing that um, I probably couldn't have did it from Costco, but like if I would have went to the regular store, I could have had them cut this fajita up in some strips, you know, and then they've done most of the work for you and put it on your pan, add your tortillas or whatever you're going to do. And bam, I mean, your dinner's freaking done. Do a salad. I think I'm going to do a salad because I have this salad mix that I need to use. I kind of want to do like a pasta salad, but I don't even think I'm going to do that today. So here's my little rings. Cut a few in half. There's one of my little ringies. I'm going to put those there. Okay, so there's the bulk of our meal. I mean, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of this on here. Is it going? Oh, it would help if I take the top off. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of that on there. Just on those veggies. Give it a little starry. Olive oil. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Put some foil on this and then sit it in my fridge and then I will be starting my daughter's hair. Okay, you guys, so here's my steak. I just took it out of the oven. I've only had it in the oven maybe 20 minutes. So I'm going to see how done it is. I tend to like my steak like a medium well, but I don't want it to get too tough. So let's cut into it and see how it looks. I have it on like a small trivet. So let's see. Let me take this off and just put it on too the counter before I spill it. It has all these juices in here. Ooh, babe. And I feel like I need to um, dump some of the juice from the onions and peppers out, but I'm gonna let it sit and marinate in that, you know? I feel like that's gonna give it more flavor. So let's see. What we got going on? I'm about to try a piece of this here. It's kind of tender. I mean, it's not that difficult to cut, but I feel like it could be more tender. 
Can you see that meat? Tastes very tender, even more tender when I cut it. I got some one more little piece of that. One more little piece of that. Doggy's looking too. I kind of spiced it up. So I don't know that he's going to be able to have any of this. But I'm going to taste it with a little bit of onion to get the real full effect. And one of these peppers. How good does this look? And this is just the cheap skirt steak that I got from Costco. And it's going to be enough for it to feed all of us, along with the salad that I'm making. So I'm just going to cut this into some strips. So, so good. So, so delicious. Quick and easy. Fajita. Fajitas. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> My kids are looking at me like, what the hell? Does anybody else get real excited when they're making something really, really delicious? And now it can't just be me. So we got lots of steak over here. Oh shoot, I did a pepper. Well, my dog's cleaning up that. If you saw that, he's cleaning up. It's gone. I believe it's okay for them to eat the sweet peppers. Let's hope because he's already dropped it down the hatch. And if you know where this tea is from, I got it from Target. If you know what show it's from, definitely drop something down in the in the comments because this is one of my favorite shows probably of all times. I put it on even though I've seen all of the episodes. I love to watch it during this time, the winter months, because it's just beautiful there. And yeah, I would love to know if you're a fan of this show. And I want to say it because I just want to see if you guys know this show that I love so much. Right now you guys, I'm just gonna get my salad together. I'm just gonna chop up this English cucumber. I tend to like the English cucumbers. I hope I'm saying that right, because they have the thinner peeling on them. So you can leave it on there. There's no need to remove it because it's so thin, unlike the other cucumbers. So I'm just gonna chop up some of these here for the salad. But this meal is actually um, pretty healthy. You know, we got our, our main sources, the protein, these vegetables with the peppers, the onions. Really the only bad thing is the, you know, the store-bought tortillas. Drop them into my big salad bowl. I'm just gonna throw everything in and I think I'm gonna even just do the dressing everything on there. Make a really nice salad. I have my eggs that I've already boiled. I feel like this is a really good deal for these jars because I've seen them much more expensive. I was looking at one actually about a month ago at Hobby Lobby and it was so expensive I was like, uh-uh. This nice glass jar for $5, you know, out of that like dollar affordable spot in Target, only five bucks, love it. With this little handle and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this for cookies or as like an extra piggy bake for myself. I was thinking I could just throw all my extra coins in it and then at the end of the year, um, cash it out, you know, and buy something that I really want. So there's, I got this. And then let me show you the other bin. I got this bin here from Target. This is gonna be for my towel closet. 
I think it was, this was kind of pricey. I thought about putting it back and I was like, no, I need it. I feel like it's the perfect size. Didn't measure it, but I'm hoping it's the perfect size to go in my, um, my towel closet. And then I got these envelopes here that are like plastic, poly document holder. And I like the three colors that they have. I think it was like $5.99. So I can use this to just keep myself organized. And they're also very, very cute. So that was um, a couple of the things that I got. Now I'm gonna take my eggs. I have just five boiled eggs that I'm gonna use here. And then I'm gonna slice these up to go in the salad. Ourselves, clean it as you go. Do a few pieces of this red onion because my kids are not really fans of onion, but I love it in a salad. A few pieces of red onion is so good. Adds a nice flavor to your salad. Going in with the salt. Oh, I want some avocado for my salad. Okay, so now our avocado. Avocado. Yeah, avocados. Yummy. Let's hope it's good. I don't even know. Oh. Perfect avocado. Why am I saying it like that? Avocado. Right, Mama? My daughter gets me silly. Yeah, you know, get on camera and you want to cut it all cute. It's like, no, nope. we're just going to squeeze that out. Okay, you know, let me slice that up a little bit better. Okay, and we're going to squeeze the rest of this avocado on there. <laughs> okay, that came out a mess. Maybe don't do that. Salt and pepper, y'all. Kind of looks like a lot of salt and pepper, but I feel like we need that because of all of the eggs, all of the avocado, going in with some pepper here. Only thing was I forgot the cute the croutons. Okay, so I think I'm gonna make my dressing, my Italian dressing with just this little packet here. I haven't done this, like I think maybe I did this once years ago. I think I'm gonna make this little quick and easy dressing with this packet. The only thing I'm adding is vinegar and oil to it. And I don't even have any of my measuring cups, so. I'm about to eyeball it. I believe it's like a fourth cup of vinegar. I'm gonna use this and do a little bit less than this. I mean, I don't recommend it. But I've moved recently and I don't know where my measuring cups are. So that's where we are with that. Fourth cup vinegar, three teaspoons of water. Let's splash some water in there. I think that's probably good. And then um, two teaspoons of water and contents of the packet. Pour that in there. I'm using this little cup like this. They have um, like those glass bottles to make your dressing that look really, really pretty. I would like to get some of those. And then I'm gonna put this little lid on it and shake it. So simple and easy. We'll clean this up real quick. Clean as you go, clean as you go. Here's my extra version, olive oil. Okay, so now I'm using a half a cup of olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna just fill this up here. Like I said, no measuring cup, so. We're really winging this. Hopefully it comes out good. I'm gonna pour it just right over here. Looks like a lot of dressing though. I mean, I feel like that's a good amount of dressing. I'm gonna shake this up. Dressing's made. 
drizzle this on there. I'm ready to go in on the salad. Let's do that. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. I should have showed you guys that. That looks really, really good. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's mix that together. I'm going to mix the whole salad together. Give it a toss. I do want to make a dressing more with um, like my own, my own herbs, all of that. I feel like that would be really, really on point. I'm gonna find some of my stuff. I probably should have tossed it first and then. Um, I'm gonna taste it. Hmm. I need a little more dressing, y'all. And I need a little more salt. Now let's plate this food and get it ready so we can get our grub on. Okay, you guys, so this is my spread for dinner. Quick and easy dinner. I gotta show you a better view of this. Tortillas, salad has avocado, cucumbers, eggs, a little bit of red onion. So good, so delicious, very easy. Just pop that steak right into the oven. A cheap skirt steak. And it's delicious, it's tender, and I'm about to go in, y'all. So thank you for joining me today for this kind of just chill, quick and easy vlog. Shouldn't say it was that chill. I mean, I've been working on her hair. Um, so come over here. Let me show you the progress with her hair. Because I gotta finish it because she's got school tomorrow, but there's her hair. She says it's glow in the dark. I did not realize I got glow-in-the-dark pink hair but working on her hair still we're gonna get our grub on finish up her hair I'm gonna relax maybe do like a little skincare routine which I would love to film with you guys and just show you what I do for my quick and easy skincare but that's gonna be a wrap relax maybe Netflix and chill um, if you enjoy this type of content please subscribe it helps me out so much and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye